We are interested in grasping novel objects in dense clutter, such as that seen here. In this box are 10 novel objects that the robot has never seen before. The objects were placed in this box randomly. The robot will grasp each of these objects by picking them out of the box one at a time. The robot localizes grasp points in the scene using two RGBD sensors. Only depth information is used. The robot is not localizing the objects themselves. It just localizes places in the scene where it believes something can be grasped. When the robot looks at the box, it sees the point cloud that is shown in the lower right corner. The cyan lines show places in the point cloud where our system believes a grasp is possible. The red line shows the grasp selected for execution. The robot executes the selected grasp and the process continues. It takes a few seconds for our system to take the RGBD images, detect the grasps and decide which grasp to execute. It can be challenging to detect good grasp configurations because so many object surfaces are occluded in a typical point cloud. Our system works by predicting the presence of geometric conditions for an interpolar grasp. First, our system generates a large number of grasp hypotheses. Then it discards those grasp hypotheses that do not satisfy certain necessary geometric conditions. Finally, it uses machine learning to predict which configurations are expected to be good grasps based on the available information. Training the system is actually easy. First, we obtain RGBD images for a small set of objects. In our case, we use 17 training objects. Then, we automatically extract positive and negative grasp instances from the training data. Finally, we train the system using a support vector machine. Our experiments indicate that, on average, 73% of the grasps attempted in dense clutter like this are successful. If objects are presented in isolation, approximately 88% of the grasp attempts are successful.